And here we are at Gardenville.tv. Now, I'm with Joe Douglas, and Joe Douglas is a great gardener, by the way. With all that information you've been telling me, Joe, you sound very impressive and know what you're doing. Now, you're showing me here a herb garden that's literally outside your back door. Just tell me about it. It's so organized. It so, looks so easy to just run out and grab something, go back into the kitchen and throw it into, into the pot or whatever you're doing with it. What are you growing here, first of all? Well, of course, the, the idea is that it is convenient so that just, if the weather isn't great, you can just wander out and grab something, bring it into the yeah. thing. So we have flat leaf parsley here. Right. We have, um, again, another version of the parsley, not quite the same, stronger taste. We have onions here, various... Onions are here? Yep. Now, would they have been planted when? Just, just very, very recently. Just recently, so we're in the month of April. Sort of, yeah, last month or so. Okay. Uh, there, some of them might have overwintered, but not many did. Right. Um, then we have cut and come again leaves that are just for throwing into a salad. Um, yeah, I don't really of, know these now. Are these grown from seed or do you get yeah, them well, planted? It, well, some of them you get planted and some of them you grow from seed. These right. particular ones here were, were bought as they stand right. at the moment. And they'll just keep over they'll just keep the going, summer. Keep on cutting them off, keep on taking a leaf. All right, leaves, and you get an endless, endless supply. Fantastic. So long as you look after. Right, and this, that means pulling off the leaf and letting it grow. Oh then. yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're designed to grow very quickly, so you can, if right. you're sensible, you just cut them all out from the outside, and the ones on the inside grow again. Within oh, perfect. A couple of days, they're back up again, same size again, ready to be. Oh, great. Okay, now what's this? This is um, mint. Mint. Wow. Or a, looks a bit squiggly, doesn't it, it for mint? It's our mojito bush. <laughs> this is the one for. <laughs> The What's mint, that for? The mint, the mint for the drink, and right. um, so we we get it. It's a, it's a, it's a French very version, strong. curly mint, and it's just perfect. It's very very strong. And um, when would you put that in, or does that grow? That's uh, two years old now, and um, it'll keep regular growing. Regular supply all the time. Yeah, uh, all the time. Yeah, all you have to do is keep the other part of it coming in. Fantastic. And what's this here behind? Again, it's flat leaf mint. Another just type. Just a different type. Yeah, of pepper. Mint. It's a different type of mint. Just a slightly duller. Right. Dollar taste of it, and it's not quite so strong. This is a very strong plant that's not quite so strong. So depending on on what the um, uh, if you're having your mojito, if you're having your mojito, <laughs> that's your man. Okay, right. if you're having lamb, that's your <laughs> man. that's your man. And what's this? This is um, uh, so this is uh, thyme. Here's a standard, ordinary, old thyme. And just and grows this is away, no thyme. problem. Yeah, absolutely. Just stick it in here, and they grow. That's the that's two years old. This one here isn't. This is a lemon one. Right. These tend not to last very long. You get a year out of them, maybe right. at most, and then they're right. gone. Um, and what's this at the back? Chives, again, chives. chives. Yep. We've chives here. We've chives right. here. And then I'm interested in this now because um, you're, you're keeping the, the whole set scene watered with these, well, are you? It's, 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 it's an enclosed area. It has no yeah. way of gaining any water from the, from from the, the surrounding ground. area. Yeah. This area here tends to be exposed to the weather, so if it gets hot or cold, the soil gets hot or cold very quickly. Okay, so, does that affect the plants? Not as much as you might think. I mean, in general, you know, this kind of weather, the ambient temperature here is quite good. It's right. quite sheltered. It's in up against the house. Okay. The sun is coming at it for probably 60-70% of the day. Okay. So, generally speaking, there isn't a big problem. It winters early. But you, but you need to keep it watered. Oh, we need to keep it yeah. watered. And one of the problems here with sort of peat and peat substitutes is right. they're not great at keeping water. In oh, they dry I off see. fairly quickly, and when they dry off, they dry right down. And do you put a mixture of soil into that? Yeah, I put a mixture of soil and peat in there. Well, not necessarily peat, but peat substitutes, whatever is handy. Really, right. it doesn't really matter okay. what you put in there. You know, you just try and get a balance. And, right. Um, and listen, isn't it just perfect? I mean, it's the ideal thing to come out and just pull into the kitchen and all that. the truth. Yeah, what would I know about that? But yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's not my area of expertise at all. No, no yours is only here, <laughs> this one. Yeah. I go to about here. <laughs> After that, it's somebody else's problem. So, the, okay. yeah, that's it. And, that's and again, great. It, I'd recommend it to anybody to try it. It's, it's de desperately easy. You have all of the staples there that you might want. Right. There's your lamp, your rosemary. Your rosemary, for yeah. For your lamp, okay. and then your yeah. sage over here. Right. And so you have all the, the bits so and pieces So in a that container that size of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 herbs that you yeah. can use. Easily. Absolutely Easily. fantastic. Then I throw in the onions just for people to 
just to have an onion cl close by, you know, often you just want an onion and okay. that's it. So, well, um, follow us with Joe because we've got an awful lot more to show from Joe's garden. He's only beginning mm. to tell us. So we have a number of clips coming up. If you if you grow your own herbs or anything, we'd love to hear from you at Gardenville.tv. You can send them in via email, come on Facebook, we're on blog, Twitter. So do join us and tell us about your herb garden.